Hey, it's Sandra, Make a Chef, and I am going to make banana bread. This is the best banana bread recipe ever. Ever. I mean, I haven't come across a better one. I think I really like it. You can tweak it to wherever you're at. Because sometimes if you're at higher altitude, you need more flour or less cooking time or whatever it might be. And it also depends on um, what device you use to put your batter in. And um, that depends how long you cook it as well. Like if you use um, muffin pans, use muffins, they might only cook like... 20 or 30 minutes compared to like an hour if you use a loaf pan, etc. But we're going to start off with a stick of butter. And I um set this out overnight so that it's like nice and soft and it's easy to cream. And I am going to get a paddle. You want a paddle or beaters of like regular mixer or whatever to beat and cream your sugar and butter and eggs and vanilla. And it calls for um, one stick of butter and two eggs and one cup of sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla. I have my KitchenAid mixer that has the paddle and it's really good orbital mixer for um, mixing things and beating things very well. And then I have these magical little guys from Pampered Chef that are multi-use, multi-sized measuring spoons. And I use one teaspoon of vanilla. And usually I have um, bananas that have been in the freezer because they're overripe and I usually like get bananas and then don't eat them all and I'll freeze them for um, however long until I'm ready to make banana bread. And sometimes I have enough for a batch of two. And um, I'll make a double batch. So you'll just double all these ingredients for your double batch. So you have a teaspoon of vanilla and a, a stick of butter, which is a half a cup. And two eggs. And you crack your eggs on a flat hard surface, not the edge of the bowl, because you are less susceptible to getting um, shells in your bowl. There you go. There's one egg. And here's my second one. There you go. Then, one cup of sugar. Which, I have these. They're expandable. I think I got them from Kohl's. Um, or they could have just been a gift from my mom. I don't know. Maybe she said she got them from Kohl's. I'm not sure. I'm sure you can find something like this online, maybe Amazon, calls for a cup of sugar. And I just fill it up over the top and just scrape it off with my hand or you can just shake it off, dump it in, and then, um, you are going to turn on your mixer to maybe about 
four, maybe six, to like beat it really well. But first start slow so it doesn't explode everywhere. And then you want to beat it so it's like light and fluffy and creamy. I got my spatula and I think my house is just a bit cold so that's why my um, butter isn't creamy and smooth but it's all broken up into small bits so that'll do and um, it's pretty um, nice and fluffy and I like the eggs and the sugar and vanilla. Then you get the flour, which is like a cup and a half. Here's my cup. and a half of flour and three quarters tablespoon or teaspoon of soda so that's where this little measuring guy comes in handy it measures three quarters table or three quarters teaspoon of soda and just dip this guy in there and scrape it off with the edge of the box like that and I'm gonna just mix that till it's blending There you go. And right now it's just kind of dry and piecey. But we'll fix that in just a second. Sugar brings out juices and um, liquids of fruit and um, same with salt. And now I don't exactly understand why this recipe doesn't call for salt, which I thought it did. But I'm just going to put maybe like a half a teaspoon or so in there. There we go, just a little bit. Okay, then you got your ripe bananas. And it calls for three, but if you like a moister um, kind of um, juicier I guess um, bread then you can use like three and a half or four which I like to use like three and a half three and three quarters it also depends on how big your bananas are like if you've got big bananas um, maybe, um, just do three, or you can do three and a half, or you can do four, it's all up to you. I've got kind of medium-sized bananas, 
I'm breaking them all up so that they don't take as much time to mix in and break up because um, I just um, you got to make sure that you don't um, over mix your batter because then it'll become tough and not very appetizing there you go and then you'll just mix it real fast Not for too much, too long at all. Just to make sure that all the um, banana bits are broken up and mashed, kind of. Get my um, spatula and then scrape down all the sides and the beater or the paddle.
Then I just pulled this out and stick the toothpick in. And well, it's a little gooey. So I'll maybe bake it another several to ten minutes. If you want it gooey, you can have it gooey. That's okay. I want a little more done. That was in about 8 to 10 minutes more. And it's a little more brown. It's a little more solid. And the toothpick is clean. That is how you make the best banana bread ever. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my videos. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If you have any suggestions or questions or recipes you'd like to see, email me at Sandra nakedchef.llc at gmail.com.